Am I the a-hole for shaving my daughter's head bald when she wanted to? Last year, my daughter, 13 years old at the time, asked me if she could get her head shaved. She was going to go to the local salon and have them do it. This was a surprise to me, she is otherwise very jolly, and even when she was younger she was very invested in how she looks. I asked why she suddenly wanted to shave her head, and she said that a girl she follows on Instagram did it for charity, and she thought she looked good, and wanted to try it. I tried to explain to her that the other kids might make fun of her, and that at her age even a boy would have a rough time being bald at school. She wasn't phased, and still wanted it done. At that point I thought that at least it would grow back if she ended up not liking it. It's not as if she's doing something permanent like a tattoo. It might take a few months, but it won't matter in a few years. I told her that it's not worth paying for at the salon and agreed to shave it myself in the bathroom. I used my beard trimmer to get her down to the stubble and then, at her request, used one of those disposable big razors to shave her completely smooth. At first, she seemed happy with it. But just a few hours later I overhear her in her room facetiming one of her friends. She was clearly upset. After I hear her hang up I went into her room to ask her what was wrong. She said that she regretted what she had just done. She said that she felt ugly and that she felt like it would take forever to grow back. I told her that I did warn her against it and she agreed it was her fault. I still did feel sorry for her, so I offered to buy her a wig. She found one on Amazon, and I ordered it for her. Problem was, this was a Saturday, and it wasn't going to arrive until Tuesday, meaning she would have to go to school for two days unable to hide that she was bald. I reassured her that she still looked beautiful and that in a few weeks nobody would care anymore. She was still nervous and upset, like any woman or girl would be in that situation. But the next morning she was feeling a lot better than I expected her to be. That evening, my ex-wife, who has custody of her and my son, 9 years old, Monta Friday, came was coming to pick them up. I called her in advance to explain the situation to her, and she was furious. She called me a moron, and said I shouldn't have let a 13-year-old girl make a drastic decision she could so easily regret. I maintained that a 13 kid should start to have a bit more freedom when it comes to their appearance, and that it would be a good lesson about how she should think harder about decisions that cannot be immediately reversed. This was almost a year ago, my daughter's hair is now at a normal length, her friends were supportive of her throughout the whole thing and the situation never led to any major conflict beyond my ex being pissed off at me for a few weeks. Looking back on it, I'm not sure what I should have done. Thoughts? You're the a-hole. Not because you allowed your daughter to make such a decision for herself, because you're right as kids get older they should be able to freely explore and express their individuality in controlled and safe environments, that not the issue, but how would you feel if your ex-wife did something you thought wasn't in your dog the best interest despite your daughter requesting it without at least her communicating it with you first. Before she proceeded with it, I'm guessing pretty pissed off. So why do it to your ex-wife? You should have included her in on this before the fact, not after the fact. You two may be no longer be romantic partners, but when it comes to raising your children you still are a team and you need to work as a team to do what is ultimately best for your children. Don't go making unilateral decisions that are going to have this level of impact on your child's emotional health without at least discussing it with all stacker holders in your child's emotional health that is your ex-wife. Not the a-hole. You taught your daughter several positive lessons. One about body autonomy. She now knows that she is in control of her own body and her opinion on what is done with it matters. The other one is owning her mistakes. She regretted shaving her head, but realized it was her own idea and nobody else is to blame. All I can see here is positive stuff. The only thing I would do differently would be telling her to wait with the idea for a bit and seeing if she still wants it, say, a month later. Not sure I'd call you an a-hole, so I'm going with not in a hole, but I do think you acted very poorly as a parent. I have to agree with your wife, she is 13 
and she regretted it in a few hours. This isn't the type of thing you should do right away. You should say no at first. If she persists then let her shave it. Sure you warned her, but you still allowed her to ruin her image. And while there's nothing wrong with a woman shaving her head, people will judge and bully, and we shouldn't pretend it isn't. Some people can handle bullying quite well, others lack the self-confidence. The only thing she tells you about her desire to so drastically change her image is she saw someone else like that. Also this is BS. She isn't dyeing her hair, or getting her ears pierced, she is making a drastic change. That she has a very high change of being bullied for it, which you said in a comment happened with almost everyone that wasn't her friend. I'm not saying you should be a helicopter parent. God that might even be worse. You should let her express yourself and hang out with friends. But she should do this in a controlled way. Edit. Just realize the mother has major custody. How do you go doing something like this and not consult her? I changed my mind you're the a-hole. Not an a-hole. Your daughter is cool for making such a drastic change and not caring what anyone else might think and you are cool for helping her do just that. The fact that she regretted it is perfectly okay and neither she nor you did anything wrong she did it because she wanted to and just because she didn't like it doesn't mean it was a mistake. I hate how adults put so much effort into preventing kids from making minor, easily fixable mistakes. Because I remember how frustrating it was being a young teen slash preteen and being treated as though I didn't understand slash wasn't prepared for the repercussions of my actions. I can kinda vaguely understand her mum's reaction. Even though you didn't do anything wrong I can see how it might have been the sort of thing where she had to be there to understand. So although I don't agree, she's still not necessarily in the wrong. If she doesn't listen to your daughter's side then she might be the a-hole, though. If she's the kind of mum that will still be mad, even if your daughter had loved her new look then she's absolutely the a-hole. Not an a-hole, but honestly I would have told her to wait a week or two before doing it. My, much younger, daughter wanted a super short haircut. I would have been fine with it, but I also thought she might regret it. So I deliberately made the appointment a month out which gave her time to reconsider. About two days before the appointment I reminded her it was coming up and asked if she was sure she wanted it short. Also told her I had had hair that short and liked it, but I didn't want her to regret it. She decided to get a short bob instead and is very happy with it. Learning to wait on decisions and not act impulsively can be a good lesson. Not an a-hole to the two of you. One of my friend's daughter around the same age did this last year. She had wanted it and asked for it for years. They made a decision that if she still wanted it by X age and had gone through all A consequences she could have it. She hit the age. They shaved it. She loved it. She spent around 6 months keeping it shaved. Then she started letting it grow and doing wild short haircuts. Now it's regular length and she has gone on to other forms of self-expression. Similar to a friend when I was younger who let her daughter do heavy eye macup and goth macup. People asked her why she let her wear macup. She did it because then her child was being adventurous in front of her instead of sneaking like all of her friends. She is old enough to understand consequences. Expressing herself now will only let her move past all of that stuff early and figure out who and what she actually is. You're the a-hole. While ultimately I'm glad you allowed your daughter to make her own decision about her hair at that age, it is pretty amazing to me that you didn't think you should clue your ex in on this situation before allowing it to happen. The thing to do would have been to tell your daughter that you were okay with it on a couple conditions. 1. Tell her mom first. 2. Wait two days to make sure she really wanted to do it. Not an a-hole. Actually you did well. It was a good learning experience without any long-term consequences. She definitely is now better at decision marking. Well, maybe not during puberty, but a self-made lesson does stick, I promise. Your daughter got the chance to make an ultimately harmless mistake that seemed drastic enough to her. Getting opportunity to decide for oneself early before adulting begins is crucial. She did nothing wrong. She just made a decision and then dealed with the consequences. Good for her. Her mother wants to spare her pain. That's good too. 
blaming you instead of taking it out on her daughter is the best solution too. Sorry, but you know it's true. All of you made important progress. Absolutely nothing wrong at all. You're the a-hole. This seems an all too common theme when it comes to children of divorced parents. Your relationship with your spouse ended, not the responsibility to co-parent. Life decisions, like shaving your kid's hair, need to be discussed. Especially considering in this case that mum has primary custody. Yes, it can be circumstantial. There was a post where an anti-vax mum wouldn't let their kids get vaccinated. Dad took kids to get their vaccines, but even justified. The conversation has to happen. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. See you all later.